How long will your business last? I see many startups and entrepreneurs with great ideas trying to gain a foothold, as well as many existing businesses evolving and seizing opportunity. But many of those businesses won't be around in 10 or maybe even five years' time. Will yours? We can't predict the details of our future economy, but we know a lot about the trends that are already driving that development. We know about the rolling IT revolution, public trust and confidence, accelerating climate change, food security, stuff like that. And these are the trends that are shaping markets and disrupting business models. Now, there's a lot of risk involved in that, but there's also something much more interesting, and that's the huge business opportunity that is there for the taking. Five years ago, we considered ourselves to be a food and drink company. Then as we started to look into the future, we realized that we are an agricultural organization dependent on land availability, water and soil. We started to innovate and develop things like the iCrop here, which help us understand how much water we need to put on our crops. It also reduces the amount of water that we would waste. We've been using it with our Walker's potato growers, and so far we have reduced water consumption by 8% and improved our potato yield by 15%. At Unilever, we're asking ourselves the question, how do we grow and prosper as a business when we're faced with issues like rising food prices, the effects of climate change, or worsening sanitation as more and more people move into cities? So we've set ourselves the ambition to double the size of our business while halving the environmental footprint of our products and increasing the social benefits of our brands. And we've done this because we believe that our future success depends on it. In fact, we're finding today that as we look through the lens of sustainability, it's opening up new opportunities in innovation, in developing new markets, or in the way that we design our packaging, which is driving growth and cutting costs. Caterpillar are the world's largest manufacturer of construction and mining equipment. Yet we face the same challenges as everybody, as the costs of energy and resources and landfill are rising. Our response to this is something we call remanufacturing, where we take end-of-life product out of the field and return it to an as-new condition. Worldwide, we recycle something like 70,000 tonnes of material and consume 90% less energy and resources in the process. It's a growing business for us and offers an excellent low-cost solution for our customers and a bright future for Caterpillar. At the Technology Strategy Board, we support companies to drive business innovation faster. That's how you get economic growth. But innovation has to be smart. The best products and services come when you address the big challenges coming our way. That's why Forum for the Future and ourselves have developed the Horizon tool. It's enabled us to get better strategies, and it's why you should look at it to help you develop your future business.